Hi, good morning. My name is Dr. Srikant, pediatrician at uh, Medicover Women and Child Hospital. Uh, today, I would like to give a brief idea about uh, vaccination in children, that is uh, COVID vaccination. Actually, there are two vaccines which are approved for the age group in India. What, one is uh, Zycov D by Zydus Cadilla, that is approved for the age group between 12 to 18 years. And uh, the vaccine also received approval from the Drug Controller General of India. But the only technical issue with this vaccination is it's a needless vaccination and so it needs expertise for the healthcare professionals who are going to administer it and one more thing is it is a three dose vaccine so some in some age group uh, people it has to be economic uh, viability also has to be weighed and when it comes to the vaccine it is our it is trials were done for the age group of 2 to 18 years and uh, the data on the trials also submitted to the Drug Control General of India. As of now, Subject Expert Committee appointed by, appointed by the government has uh, given approval for the va pediatric vac uh, vaccination in children for uh, Covaxin, but final nod has to be given by the Drug Control General of India. Once uh, Drug Con DCGA gives approval, the central government has to take a call on when to roll out, how to roll out, this job has to be done by the uh, central government. Uh, so as of now, the status for Covaxin is we are waiting for the approval from the Drug Control General of India. And uh, it is a, it, it will, uh, Covaxin is going to be like a adult vaccine only, two, two doses, uh, 28 days apart. But uh, final protocol has to be published by the government. And uh, when it comes to the side effects, as of now, no major side effects were noted between with the Covaxin and Zycov D. But uh, once, uh, as the clinical trials go on, we'll get some idea about what what will be the side effects. And uh, I, ideally, it should be given in the hospital setting because uh, if any rare chance of uh, any serious reaction because of the vaccination, so that uh, we can take care of it. So when the government starts uh, rolling out vaccination for children, uh, it's better to roll out uh, initially for the children who are at risk, like who are on long-term medications, like uh, children who underwent transplants and uh, on immunosuppressive agents, and the children of cancer treatment, uh, children who are on cancer treatment. The those sh people should be those children should be given first priority. After that. Uh, like uh, bigger kids like 12 to 18 years so should be given priority and after that uh, when once the vaccine uh, stocks are available uh, enough then we can roll out for uh, everybody. Mm -hmm.